Hello everyone, this is the True Zek back for another Indie Outlook. And today, we're looking at, you know, a bit of a... You, you might recognize this game from if you've watched some of my previous videos. This is, uh, technically God's Base Galactic 2. Uh, the, actually, but the copy I was received, the title of it was called Procedural... Procedural Planet Demo 2? 3? I got Demo 3. So yes, uh, this game is supposedly God's Base Galactic 2. Uh, I was talking to the, the Mason X about it, which was the developer of this game and the previous one. You can, I'll put, I'll, I'll actually, you know, if you want to check out the old game, just look through my videos. It was, it wasn't too far back ago, and I'll put a link to this game in the description below. The the copy I'm playing is a newer update that you cannot, I don't think you can get at this moment. You might be able to. I don't know what Mason did, uh, but I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description below because he did upload this to Game Jolt too. Uh, however, he sent me. I uh, think this is a newer update. So, I'm gonna talk to uh, talk to him about this stuff and everything. And yeah, he has a one-man team, and this is impressive. He already has what, what is seven languages? Four, five, six, seven. I'm I'm amazing at math. You know, actually, I just finished my math exam today, or like the, at the date at which I'm recording this. <laughs> so you know, he's already got seven languages down. That's pretty cool. But because we're you were generally. English speakers. I, I'm Chinese actually, but I'm not. I can't read Chinese for shit. So I'm assuming we're just gonna do English here. So we're just gonna click this. And I actually haven't played this before. All I've been doing is talking to Mason about it and everything. So uh, the one thing we sh you guys should know. Oh, we still can't look all the way up. Okay, so it looks like we're still. Sorry about that, everyone. The uh, Java update popped up randomly, so I'm like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. So. You know, a couple of new things about this game, uh, also as to speak of Mason, he created this game from scratch again, he did not use whatever the stuff he used before, or like he didn't like just add it on, it was completely new, and one of the first things I'm noticing about this is the performance stuff, and it seems to be much better, and I have a really shitty computer, so, you know, the fact that I can run this perfectly is amazing. Oh. You know, another thing I'm noticing about the sun is, clearly you can see some something happening on the surface, uh, I'm, I'm a bit lagging. It's a bit laggy when I stare at it, but you can clearly see maybe those are some small solar flares. You can see the fire blazing from it and star B. I actually never noticed that. Maybe it's just I've never, you know, I've never seen that before. Like in in the videos that I've seen, you know, of the god of like other people playing this playing this update, I've never maybe this is adding a new update, but we're gonna pop over there and check that out. You can see a light coming up from the sides. So clearly this this sun is emitting light. And by the way, like always, pressing shift will go hype will, will make you go to warp speed, and that plan is quite far away now. Um, and go here. There's clearly clearly something happening here. Fire spurting out. You know, because you go closer, it looks like paint. And it's just a giant white orb that actually emits light, which is very cool. You know, so like, he's a one-man team, and it, cl it has light coming out of it, you know, lovely animation, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly warp back over here. By the way, we're traveling at top speed right now, so it's pretty damn far. You know, but I guess it just gives it the realism effect. And you can really see how much smaller the planet is to uh, Earth. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, give us, give us an eclipse. That, that looks beautiful. That's a beauty, guys, that's a beauty. That eclipse. Anyways, so, we're gonna, gonna go ahead and get closer to this planet. And, as you can see, uh, it's much more detailed. You got water, land, and clouds, and, you know, you, some type of mountains. And if you go closer, you can actually see that there's, there, it's not flat. It has elevation to it, this could be a mountain or something. A little water, like a little, maybe like a lake or something. Uh, oceans, and you can go like this, you can actually see the clouds are coming out of it. It's the atmosphere, you can actually see an aura around the the, the world. It's called this Earth, it's, it's not actually Earth because, well... Do you see in Africa here? I don't, but... Anyways... Yeah, this is really cool. So, if we just gotta figure out how to unlock the mouse or something. Okay, escape, escape, unlock the mouse, it's not pause, it's, it's escape. So we can actually water this right here. We can take out the, all the water, and you can see that it actually goes deeper than what the actual land is, and it's no longer grass; it's dirt. That's very cool. It's got depth. It's got lots of detail, and I, I love it. This is a fantastic game. Well, it's not much of a game right now. It's more of a simulation, and it's beautiful right now. Wow! Holy crap! I didn't even notice. Wow! No, you know what, Mason? You are an amazing man. Look. So the sun's over there. 
and it's shining on this side. So this is all daytime, and you go on this side, and what do you know, it's very very dark, you can't really see. Why? Because the light's not facing the side. It's actually nighttime over here, so the light levels change, that's, that's beautiful, that's amazing. And it's not just like a single line too, it's gradually changing, very very nice. So, you know, if we unlock it again, there's some, some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, water level, we can actually change the water so low, we can actually retract it so like, oh, maybe er uh, this world has been losing all of its water, and you know, what the hell have you guys been doing? You've drained all the water out of this world? Alright, so we can actually make it to none. Or we can, you know, tell me you could flood the earth, actually. Which is cool. Cool, cool. So now this entire world is a water world. So screw your little theme park water world. We got the we got the real water world here. But we're just gonna go drop that to a, a nice spot. You guys like that? You guys like this? All right, this looks pretty cool actually. Okay. Oh, okay. We have different seed regenerated from seed, which is okay. So GG. Okay, it looks like I can only use numbers at this moment. So we're gonna do 69 because we're Im immature. Or we can do uh, t some random number. Okay, this is... Oh, delete that A. I like this. This looks so much cooler. Look, you know, you see this guy? This is kind of like a man, a really fat man, deformed, running. These are his legs. You can see that's clearly a foot. A pant leg, another foot. You know, maybe that's his arm over there holding some type of hatchet. That's his head. He's really deformed. Or a shark, actually. A shark. This would be its fin. This would be something nothing. Its head here. And then that nothing. And then the fin here. I don't know. I'm just trying to make shapes. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna look for the atmosphere color. Okay, so these things actually change the colors. And the problem I don't like with this, I can all right now notice it already. Uh, what is it like RGB or something like that? But is it RGB or is it RG or is it RBG? I don't I don't understand. They should have letters on them so I can figure out what's going on. But we can actually change the. We're just gonna make it a cool color, not P color. P colors for noobs. Love is in the air, boys. Yeah, love is in the air. Definitely, almost Valentine's Day. No, no, we're gonna, we can make it darker like this, no. Nope. Alright, so now it looks like a totally bloodthirsty planet. It's got this um, cool red aura around it. And what we're gonna do to it is atmospheric density. Oh! Oh, that's, that's amazing. That looks like I highlighted it. I can create, I can like, make it even denser, so the light shows so much more. Or I can make it so it's like... Oh, like nothing, like nothing. Oh, oh, gradually there. Very cool. I'm just gonna toy around with this for a bit. You mean green, green world? You know, you can do love is in the air. You know, a bunch of other things. It's very cool. I don't like green. Green's for noobs. Alright. Alrighty now. God! How do I get a good color? Alright, orange, orange it is. So, what is it? Okay. So, raise or lower god power active. And you see this thing? I can actually, you know, when you look at this, watch. So what I just did, I just raised this entire area. And because this entire area is raised, it's not really bright. That's all snow, actually, I'm pretty sure. Because technically it's so high in the air. Or I can just, you know, shove it all back down. And there, I just created this like weird circular thing. Cir circular thing. God, I can't speak today. And I can change the brush size, so this... Holy crap, just en envelop the entire world. Or drop this all back down. Maybe I should just lower this just a bit. Wow, okay, so edit rate. This is cool though. Creating a pulse thing. Okay, so we're gonna change the edit rate down a bit. 
Well, I I just destroyed this world, so. Sorry, guys. There's a giant space in the middle. If, if you guys want to like here, let's create this giant. All right. Now I uh, connected the continents. But yeah, there really isn't much to the. Oh, what the hell? I formed the land on the other side too. You know, or we could just regenerate from seed. Oh, warp speed. The hell, it's a different land. Okay, whatever. So we're gonna actually stop that. So this is cool. It's a very beautiful demo. At the as you can see, it's clearly not a game right now. Well, I'm going warp seed. Clearly not a game right now. But, you know, he's a one-man team. What do you expect? And it's already beautiful. You go to the planet and different different levels, elevation, depth, you know, very, very cool. What I would like to see, though, is that, like, maybe, like, little colonies of people on, like, you know, inhabiting the planet, ships going off, they can go into space and everything. And you can actually see a planet grow. That would be amazing if, if, they, if he would implement that. Uh, like, everything's in pretty decent quality. You can change the atmospheric color, whatever. You can see the clouds, and a lovely sun, which emits light, and this, you know, has different light levels. Very, very cool, and I did not expect it to be this amazing. Mason, you are a wonderful man. Now, if you enjoyed this, uh, he, this game is now on Steam Greenlight. You know, go give it a thumbs up or however the hell it works. Uh, you know, do, do that other dump. Help this guy out. This guy's game is amazing. You know, there's so much more support than he's actually getting. And, you know, I'll link it to Game Jolt too. Game's beautiful. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.